Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in California with the notorious sovereign citizen known as Thomas Humphrey, as he again engages with the cops, uh, with his sovereign citizen garbage, and ends up with his van towed. But unfortunately, the first minute of the video has no audio. Instead, it just has him with his own interpretation of what's going on here. But at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, I'm just, I'm just, the this is my supervisor. how's it going, guys? Over I'm, here. I'm just a constant. Uh, over here on the, on the sidewalk. All right. Okay. Sounds good. So this is, this is what you're, what you're being assigned for. This is, uh, the identification that you provided me. Okay. Your caravan it doesn't come back registered anywhere. Right. Yeah. Because you chose not to. So you're being assigned for, uh, no insurance. Unregistered vehicle on the highway and being an unlicensed driver. All right. Okay. For that, I need your signature right here. Okay. Do I get a copy of my signature? Of course. Of course. Well, of course, you would cite the Uniform Commercial Code, but that code really has nothing to do with traffic violations or anything like that. I mean, it's just a random UCC code that you picked out that uh, you thought might uh, get you out of trouble, but you know what? It didn't work in this case, and it never does. Okay, yeah. According to Rocket Lawyer, but being forced, pressured, or tricked into signing a contract goes against the very concept of contract law. Still, people do sometimes sign contracts under duress or because of undue influence or coercion. These are all legal terms referring to questionable tactics, and they may invalidate a contract. Really, dude? You think that this is contract law? Uh, no, you're in the wrong department. You want to see the traffic codes in, in this case because that's what you violated. So essentially this little piece right here you just showed just basically means you're dumb as hell and you're barking up the wrong damn tree. Yeah, I actually have an email ready for you guys, so I'll send it out to you. Yeah, I took I took a picture of my van in front of the post office just so you guys got the description of my van and everything, you know. Yeah, just in front of the post office with my license plate and it says Sonora with the with the um, you know zip code. That way, you guys know I'm in the area and you know just in good faith, you know. Yeah, yeah. Just so you know, I don't know if Officer Leo cares. Here's where the one with your signature, okay? Okay, yep. Yeah. So, now, because your vehicle is unregistered and you're unlicensed, I cannot let you drive. So, your car is going to be impounded. Oh, sir, I live in there. I'm homeless. I live in my van, sir. I got a question for you, dude. Do you have any kind of disability that will prevent you from getting a real job instead of what you're doing right now, but that way you won't be homeless? But if the California economy is not that great and you can't find a job out in California, well, that and you're homeless right now, that just basically means you can move to another state that where there are jobs and you can uh, look for them there and uh, not be so homeless anymore. And you can stop pulling the sovereign citizen BS thinking, that you're going to get away with something. At any rate, let's continue on with this. I literally live in my van. So you understand the importance of having your vehicle. Uh, yeah, but I'm... You need, I'm to, you need to get a license and registration and insurance. I do have insurance. I have my... my I'm, I'm bonded. I'm bonded underneath my nation's bond number. If you could... If you could. Oh, you're bonded under your nation's own insurance plan. I Well, I guess it wasn't good enough for the actual uh, factual country that you're in right now so do try again this time with something more substantial and something that is actually real just, no, just, just okay. let me know you had vehicle vehicle registration and license is is absolutely mandatory to be driving in any okay. any states in the united states you've taken you're, it you're, you're taking an oath to protect and defend the constitution sir yes sir 
it's a it's my fifth amendment right to privacy and also you cannot deprive me of my property without due process this is this is this is, due process here, so. this, this is so not correct due process here's your, here's your copy of your citation oh gee i hate to uh remind such a famous constitutional law scholar such as yourself uh one that who hasn't partaken too much in the uh consumption of mass quantities of crayons uh about the Tenth Amendment, which grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. And let me tell you something, the Constitution doesn't cover everything. So, therefore, that amendment was necessary. Okay. I'm going to give you back your documents. Okay. You have. Can, I, can I get my backpack? And my... We're, we're going to let you, because you have a lot of personal belongings in there, I'll let you... Retrieve all of that, but let me give you back here right. all of this as well. Okay. Now, well, let me know what it, what is it that you're going to be I, getting out of the vehicle. I so. need my shoes. I need uh, uh, my clothes. I'm okay. gonna grab some pants, my backpack, okay. and my you know. So okay, let's, let's go ahead and get all that stuff out. Okay. <sighs> Believe this, dude. A little longer than a few minutes later. Alright, I tell you what, guys, I am tired of this, man. But I'm not gonna bow. I'm not gonna force. They can't force you to contract. You know that's so against the law, dude. Well, maybe if you drop the damn act and actually uh, study the law uh, and uh, realize that this is not damn contract law like you think it is maybe you would be a lot better off but but then again you cannot really reason with a smooth brain soft tard such as this at any rate let's carry on and see what else he has to say that's completely uh well irrelevant to what actual traffic laws are i'm trying to think of what else i need like literally do guys this is crazy I gotta literally leave my home right now, and I'm just in the middle of California, and they're they're behind me again. Like, look at this, dude. Freedom wagon, the freedom wagon, but I don't know how much freedom we have in America, cause look at what happens when you try to stand up for your rights, <laughs> yo. But all in all, I'm not gonna. Com compromise I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bow no matter how much they continue to violate me no matter how much they take my property away from me yeah I've always been able to get it back some way or another well I seriously think that you don't understand what freedoms you do have and what your actual rights are because that much is blatantly clear at this point that you don't understand any of it but hey, if you want to continue on uh, paying the impound fees and everything like that, just to stick it to the man, be my guest. No skin off my back. I mean, I'm perfectly happy with the job I've got right now and everything else I do with my life. And well, if you're happy with that, uh, being a total moron, then I guess that suits you just fine. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.